Dan Roush, Full Contact Fighter, here with the CEO. How's it going, John? It's going great. We saw such an elite level of world-class kickboxing tonight. It was a real treat. Yeah, it was uh, a fantastic evening of fights. We had a, a fight that was going to be a title fight, but didn't turn out that way because Robin Van Roosmalen did not make weight. But he still uh, really schooled Matt Embry, in my mind. He gave him a, a little lesson in uh, kickboxing tonight. And then we had uh, a great title match between Wilness and, and Israel. And, uh, you know, some people saw it somewhat one way. Some people saw it the other way, but I, I think the California judges saw the ring control. They saw a little bit of devastation, and uh, Wilness retained his title. I think they've been hanging out too much with Nick and Nate Diaz, but that's just my personal opinion. I don't know what they were smoking, but getting back to the first match, how is it that a guy spends his entire life training for a fight, weighs in at just under a pound, and does not want to cut that last pound? Well, he, as he said yesterday, he, he knows his body. He didn't want to take off more weight. He said he had gotten as low as he could, and that was what he wanted to fight at. You know, he's a professional, knows what it takes to win, didn't want to damage his body, and did what he had to do. Now, Israel showed incredible ring generalship. He showed the hands, the feet, just every way it looked like he was dominating, and the crowd was booing after they heard that decision. Yeah, but I think uh, Wilness kept coming forward. He kept hitting. He never backed down. So as he said, you know, some people saw it one way, some people saw it another way. Um, Got to go with the judges, though. California State Athletic Commission, they saw it for wellness. One thing we really saw tonight is that the glory rules and that the glory style of fighting really pushes the action. No clinching and uh, devastation scoring. Um, that's, that's what does it, you know, fast three rounds, no clinching, no elbows, and, uh, you know, crowd loved it. What are we going to see in the future? How can we get back to where the golden age of kickboxing was and for that age bring it to where the golden age of boxing was? Well, I think we're on our way. If you uh, watch Badahari for fight Rico Verhoeven, we had a sold out 12,000 seat arena in Germany. Now we're trying to bring that to the U.S. We need to see a few U upcoming U.S. stars that would help over here, but we're uh, increasing our schedule from 10 events last year to 18 this year. We're on ESPN, we're on UFC Fight Pass, so we're taking steps. We're trying to bring back the golden age. But if you recall, the golden age wasn't even the golden age in America. You know, K-1 was doing big things in Japan. They were doing big things in the Far East. Never really cracked it in America, but we're starting to crack it in America now with glory. Um, I think the fast action is fits real well with the way millennials take their content. Shorter rounds. We don't have nine rounds like boxing. We don't have 12 rounds. We have three rounds. Things happen fast and furious. The guys have to go for it all the time. And I think we're, we're starting to attract an audience because of that. We had Russell Peters. We had uh, a few famous comedians and celebrities in the audience. Any, uh, any chance you're going to get them involved to try to promote the league? Well, you know, it's L.A., so the, the celebrities always come out. We don't see those people when, uh, you know, you go to Oklahoma City. Sure. So that's part of the reason we're glad to be at L.A. Live. We had the WOW um, exhibition here tonight, Women of Wrestling, it's Jeannie Buss's company. That was incredible, that was a lot of energy and yeah. everybody was, yeah. it was... It was a lot of fun and uh, you know, they, they do some stuff with the Lakers, so we had Lakers fans coming in after uh, the Lakers game. And we had so a Lakers game about, what, 100 yards 100 across the yards street? away, we're in the entertainment yeah. capital of the world. Lakers, Clippers, Kings, and glory. Yeah. An amazing event, man, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for coming out and uh, thanks for helping us get the word out.